All right, now that we have uh, completed the assembly, we're going to um, do a, just a very simple drawing file um, in order to turn in. Remember to turn things in on the LMS. Assemblies and drawing files are useless without their part files, so um, we're going to just create a drawing file and change that to a PDF. So I want to make sure you get the drawing file that has our um, Dover title block on it, so you should be getting your, you know, your prompted entry for the project title, T9 Automoblox. Um, and the scale, we'll go ahead and make it one to one. Say OK, and that should come up with our Dover title block that will auto populate with your name and the project title and everything as soon as you bring it in. Now, to do this one to one, we're going to need to change the sheet size. So I'm going to go over to the browser, right click, edit sheet and change to size B. So I'll change to size B paper. Okay, and then we'll bring in a base view. Um, and you can always go to change view orientation. We want to make sure we have an isometric view looking at the truck. So finish custom view. If one of these options does not work then go in and select change view orientation and manipulate the cube so you get a good view of the truck okay we can go ahead and bring the truck in in color and next we'll go to annotate this will make me this will let us see that we can have all the parts that we're supposed to have we're just going to add a parts list. Of course, select a document. The only one available should be the, the, C9, the T9 truck. Of course, if that doesn't show up, you might have to browse to it in the folder, but it should pop up. We'll say OK. And again, that title block should dock right with the uh, parts list. Um, if you double click on any of the text that will go in to edit the parts list. The very first button is the column chooser and let's go ahead and remove the description and it probably makes sense to uh, re also remove the part number and let's add the file name and add the material. Okay, now that makes some of those columns a little bit too big. So just stretch the column out and resize them. Now normally you would do dimensioning, you would do an exploded view and put balloons on your exploded view that goes with your parts list, but for the purposes of the automobile blocks, we're just going to um, turn in the assembly and a parts list. Um, of course we should save this file and you can give it the same name as your uh, assembly file, that's fine because it's a different drawing type. And then in order to turn this into the LMS, remember we're going to go up and export this to a PDF file. So then that gives us a document that can be opened on any computer or iPad and you can send this to your Aunt Sally in Texas if you want to.